Okay, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the another video. Um, I haven't been making a video lately because I'm so busy at work. Uh, today we're going to do um, a different kind of vlog or video for this channel for today. Um, a new commentary. Probably something like that or we're more of reacting so I like watching reaction video. How about you? No. You don't? I don't, I don't like watching. Yo, yeah, me, I do, but not all. Probably if it's so interesting, it depends on the, the subject. Uh, for today, we're, we're going to watch a magic show. Well, who doesn't like magic? You don't like magic? I like magic. I like magic. I'm always amazed by the people who can do magic flawlessly. Anyway, so we're going to react to magic, a magic show. This uh, famous show in the US. Um, I guess you've heard about Penn and Teller Fool Us. There's this one magician from America. I think he's Chinese or Korean. I'm not sure what his demographic is or what his nationality is but it looks like Asian from the from the name Shin Lim. I've guessed you've heard this person and he's so amazing. Have you watched him? No. No, no seriously have you watched him? I don't know. Wait. No really, you haven't watched him any no, of his videos. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't remember watching. Yeah, actually, he's so amazing. I watched a couple of his videos, and I'm always amazed every time I watch his videos. Kind of like, like mind blowing. I always left with a uh, open mouth, like always puzzled. Like, let's dive into this video, and um, let's do it. Right. Oh, by the way, Penn and Teller are one of the famous magicians. Oh, this video is going to be long. Yeah, this is Penn and Teller. Penn is the, the tall guy, and then Teller is the small guy. I never heard... Yeah, I've, seen, I've heard once. I was watching this video, um, one of their shows on YouTube. And then, so that's the first time I heard him speak. <laughs> I guess what the host said. I've never heard Teller speaks, right? So he really speaks actually. And most, if you're gonna watch Penn and Teller shows on YouTube, you will he rarely hear Teller speaks. Just him there. Right, he's from Boston. Yeah, he's a musician as well. Both hands, and because of that, I just decided to pursue magic. He looks like he's Taiwanese. Wow, how could he do that? Like, whoa. That's the one that I like. Kind of like, you know, you make the a card like a boomerang, and then you catch it here. I thought... Wait, wait, I'll take a pause. I watched that kind of trick in the movie, um, Catch Me If You Can too. They threw this card like a boomerang and then they catch it. It's awesome. I didn't know that that can be done in real life. Anyway. What? Wow, change snap. But so quick. Kind of like you're snapping. Like this. Ah, I've watched this. I've seen this before. I think this is the very first time he's in this show. Okay, okay, a clover, ace of clover. But then you saw it. It's okay. So that's a typical magic you're gonna sign on the card to reassure that this is legitimate, that this card is the only one and this yours. What the? <laughs> I think it went inside here. There's <laughs> jacket. How in the world? What? Where did that come from? Kind of like suddenly there's smoke there on the table. Wow, that is awesome. How in the world, right? Wow, his hand is so fast. 
right? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Now he put it in this in a uh, ziplock. Now it's your turn. Is How in the world can like from the thin air there's a pen? To the card. Show it to the audience. It's a seven of spades. <laughs> Sign your name. Is that your signature? Just to confirm. Kinda of like taking time, but no it's not. Look at this. What the smack? <laughs> like suddenly it disappeared. Right? It's so cool. And then the flicking. What? It's back there on top. Isn't that he put it in the middle? He did, right? There. Is he putting it in the middle or underneath? Okay. Bottom. Right there. There's a the switch. No, it's not the switch. Yeah. All the deck were gone. The deck of cards is gone. Oh my god. Wait, pause. How in the world? He was just holding the deck of cards and then the seven of spades is underneath. I've seen some tutorials on YouTube how to um, jump a card from a deck of cards, something like that. And then he was doing that palming and then I was assuming that he will put that card on top. But no, that's not what happened. The deck of cards disappeared. The seven of spades left. And then the entire deck went back into the box. How did he do it? It's amazing, I anyway. Know. Okay, what's next? Blue it. He blew on it. What? what? <laughs> wait, can amazing. we go Amazing! Yeah, go back, go back. Wait, wait, go back, go back. How did he do that? Here, here, here. Here. Okay, watch this. I'm gonna switch it. The deck of cards on the right hand, and there's a single card on the left hand. What? Oh my gosh! How in the world? What? What? I saw it. He put it. He put that card in the middle of the deck, and then he took it from his pocket. How? How could that be possible? What? Oh. Okay. Okay. That's a seven of spades. Okay. I think you're showing why he's doing it. Wait, what? How? And then that that card behind him turned blank. What? Okay, the card disappeared. There's so much smoke in his stomach. Maybe he's puffing a cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> Inside his stomach. Wow, it's really unbelievable. What? What's gonna happen? Don't tell me it's gonna switch it. Oh my gosh! Without touching the cards. That's so unbelievable. And then what? He changed it. Yeah. Back. Changed it back. Yeah. Oh, that's so unbelievable. Okay, what's gonna happen next? He's gonna disappear. It's gonna, no. Okay, putting in. both cards in the ziplock. What? What? Disappeared both? How? Where did it go? So weird. Okay, what's gonna happen next? Got blurred. I'm so amazed by the smoke. 
Jin Lim is so amazing. I think he's one of the best magicians in the world. I, I don't think he's just a magician. He's um, Houdini is still a good magician. But what he did, his craft, he's so amazing. Very outstanding. One of the excellent magicians or illusionists, I would say. Uh, one of his videos I've watched. There is a school, like if you want to learn, but I think that's in the US. All the kids there, they know how to do that. Um, you know the cards and then making the cards like a boomerang and then kind of like throwing it and then flying it around your back and then catching it on the other hand which is amazing oh, this is yeah i feel this mind-blowing i don't know i i'm so speechless wait let's continue this let's see what's gonna happen it looks like pen and teller were so amazing mm -hmm. it looks like they got totally fooled <laughs> so they're saying you're doing a good job. I don't know how to do magic, but every so time I see magic, it always amuses me. This scene to be phony, the whole thing crumbles, and it crumbles completely, so it needs to be perfect or not at all. But, at the end of that, even with the little moves that I saw, I felt it was perfect. And as Paul said, it's even trouble. know how you vanish the <laughs> marker. <laughs> Yeah. The idea of this show, Penn and Teller, since that Penn and Teller are one of the best magicians in the world. So if you win this, if you fool them, you will be in their show. Since that they're good magicians, they know what you're doing. So for example, let's say that snap change. They know how to do the snap change. If you can do a different kind of snap change that you will fool this great magicians, meaning you're good, right? Really awesome. I want to be that, that dude. Yeah, me too. I want to learn even a simple magic or like three magics. That's good enough for me. Especially, I want to learn that snap chain. I don't know. I don't know. Probably. Anyway, we are generally fooled, right? Are you fooled? Yeah. yeah we got fooled. If Penn and Teller got fooled, seriously, we got fooled also. No doubt. There's no question about that. And if, he, you, if you know how to do this trick, tell us. Yeah, especially like that. Yeah. No, there's a lot of tutorials on YouTube to do um, magic tricks like card tricks or pen tricks it's so hard to do yeah actually it requires a lot of practice like hours of practice it's like if you're if you're learning musical instruments it's same as like that it requires a lot of hours to master that yeah probably yeah years. yeah probably years same uh, since that Sh Shin Lim is a musician he's a pianist he has the patience to master his craft that's the thing you know because as a musician you need to be patient in mastering your craft. All the techniques from hands, from mind, to your body, being aware of what you're doing. Anyway, so that's it for the vlog today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and hope you liked. So hit that like button. So maybe we, since that I'm busy, I'm going to do, I don't know, an easy vlog. Hope you subscribe and see you again next time. Adios.